Lady Bird Books present Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day. It was one of those blustery days in the hundred acre wood, and Winnie the Pooh was sitting in his thoughtful spot. This was a special place for sitting and thinking. Pooh was wondering what to do when he suddenly thought, Why, it's Wednesday! This is my favorite day for visiting friends. I think I'll start with Piglet. Now, Piglet lived in a very fine house in a large beech tree. When Pooh arrived, Piglet was sweeping leaves away from the front door. I don't mind the leaves that are leaving, it's the leaves that are coming that bother me, said Piglet. Happy Wednesday, Piglet, said Pooh, but Piglet didn't have time to say anything back to Pooh. Just then, a gust of wind blew very hard and lifted Piglet into the air. Help me, Pooh, he cried. Pooh made a grab, but only caught the end of Piglet's scarf, and the scarf began to unravel like a ball of string. There was Piglet flying like a kite, with Pooh holding on to one end of the scarf and running as fast as he could go. Piglet flew over fields and hedges. They went right through Eeyore's house and Rabbit's carrot patch. Happy Wednesday, Eeyore! Happy Wednesday, Rabbit! shouted Pooh. Then an even bigger gust of wind lifted Pooh right off the ground. The wind blew so hard that Pooh and Piglet landed high up in the treetop, and there they were at Owl's house. Owl saw them at the window, waving. He couldn't believe his eyes. Very few of Owl's friends could climb so high in a tree, so it was a special treat for him to have visitors. Well, said Owl, this is a nice surprise. Do come in for a cup of tea. He opened the window, and Pooh and Piglet flew in. Happy Wednesday, Owl, said Pooh. The wind was shaking Owl's house backwards and forwards. Then it blew very hard, and the house, with Owl, Pooh, and Piglet inside, crashed to the ground. All of their friends from the Hundred Acre Wood came running to help. I don't think that we will ever be able to fix it, said Christopher Robin, shaking his head. Eeyore was shaking his head too. You'll be needing another house, Owl, he said. It might take a day or two, but I'll find one for you. Everyone thought that this was a very good idea. The very blustery day turned into a very blustery night. Outside Pooh's house, it rained and rained. By morning, the water was very deep and the hundred acre wood was flooded. When Pooh woke up, all the honey pots were floating on the water. Pooh thought that he would eat some honey before it all flooded away. He was licking out the bottom of a honey pot when the water flooded him right out of the door. At Piglet's house, the water was coming in through the window. He had just written a note which read, Help, Piglet, me. Piglet put the note in a bottle, which floated out of the window and out of sight. And then Piglet floated out of the window and out of sight. Christopher Robin lived on a hill where the water could not reach, so everyone made their way to his house. Rabbit, Kanga, and Roo arrived in a bathtub. Tigger was helping to paddle. Owl was keeping watch from a tree, but there was not a sign of Pooh and Piglet. It was Roo who spotted the floating bottle with Piglet's note inside. Christopher Robin read out the note, and Owl flew off into the wood to search for Piglet. As he flew over the flood, Owl saw Pooh and Piglet floating in the water. They were not far from Christopher Robin's hill. Everyone was waiting at the edge of the water as Pooh and Piglet floated in. Well done, Pooh, said Christopher Robin. You've saved Piglet's life. You are a hero. I am, said Pooh. Christopher Robin said that as soon as the flood was over, he would give a hero's party for Pooh. Finally, the rain stopped and Christopher Robin gave the hero's party. Everyone was there except Eeyore. He arrived late. I found a house for Owl, he said. Follow me. So they all followed Eeyore through the hundred acre wood. He led them right to Piglet's fine house in the beech tree. Eeyore stood in front of Piglet's door and asked everyone to take a good look at Owl's fine new home. But everyone looked at Piglet. Well, said Christopher Robin, this is just the house for Owl. What do you think, Piglet? And then Piglet did a noble thing. Yes, he said. This is just the house for Owl, and I hope he will be very happy in it. Pooh looked at his little friend and whispered in Piglet's ear, That was a noble thing you did. Then Pooh said loudly, Piglet, you can come and live with me. 
So Christopher Robin gave a party for two heroes. Pooh was a hero for saving Piglet's life, and Piglet was a hero for giving Owl a fine house. Everyone had a lovely party, and the blustery day turned out to be not so bad after all.